Hi there, this is another edition of Brian's Mind. I'm a little hoarse right now. I just got done, this is Thursday, I just got done watching Sarah Palin's speech last night. I have to take back everything I said yesterday. She is a brilliant woman. Right on the money. No, you jackass, this is Wednesday. I'm taping for Thursday. I have no idea what the broad said. I don't care what she says. She's still a jackass. But we're not going to pick on her. Yesterday, I picked on the Republican Party. Today, I'm picking on the Democratic Party. Why? It's Brian's mind. And remember, only one more of these are political, then we go back to what else is on my mind. But I figure with all the conventions and everything going on, got to throw it out there. Okay, the Democrats, where can I start? Joe Biden. Okay, great American, served his country, wife killed in a car wreck, lost a son or lost a daughter and lost a wife. Gee, seemed to find a new wife and a new daughter. Guess things didn't work out too bad for you. Little Anna yeah. takes the train back to Delaware every day. Poor bastard, well you can't afford a car. Anyways, and the guy wants to be our vice president, probably doesn't have a driver's license. Probably means he can't vote if he doesn't have a driver's license. No, actually I've seen video of him driving, so unless it was illegal, he does have a driver's license. Now, is Joseph Biden the man that should be vice president? He doesn't have the qualifications. He's never been a mayor. He's never been a governor. He's never taken on big oil. He's never taken on the public, you know, the, the interest groups and lobbyists. He's always been a yes man. No, he hasn't. But anyways, I gotta make it fair to the Republicans on my response, so I gotta find something to rip on the Democrats. So fine, I will rip on Joseph Biden. Joe, you're just too damn handsome. We can't help it. You're a good looking guy. If I swung that way, I'd do you. But that's just my opinion. Now, that's all the negative I can do about Joe Biden. He's a handsome guy that would make a very sexy first mate to the Rock Obama. Now, our presidential hopeful is a young poor black man that went to school in a, a Muslim school that he registered at and his parents are right wing pinkos that are ready to destroy America and his grandparents once served with Patton's army and his grandfather's freed a bunch of Jews from Nazi Germany and his dad is a Muslim leader that blows Osama bin Laden every day that's why his middle name is Hussein yes that's what we have have I missed anything else about this so-called American hero Barack Obama no by the way I missed Pat LaFontaine already Yes. So next, <laughs> or Don Lafayette, not Pat. Anyways, so the big rap on Barack Obama is he's not American. Doesn't wear a lapel. He had to paint the back of his airplane just because of the American flag. Whether you people know this or not, the American flag is a registered trademark, and you cannot fly the American flag without rights from on stuff. Like technically, I cannot put an American flag behind me and say that America sponsors me because the American flag is copyrighted. Look it up. A lot of people don't realize that. Okay, anyways, I have to say that Barack Obama, besides being an African American, yes, African American, mom's way, um, has great possibilities in this world. I just don't think now is the time. I think this is the year of the Republican. America first. I believe that we need more handguns, less health care, and more wars. I believe that John McCain will be the first president to launch a full nuclear strike on Iran. I believe John McCain will be the first person. I don't think Barack Obama's got the balls to launch a nuclear strike in Iran. I don't think Barack Obama has the balls to blow up the world. I don't think he does. I think Senator McCain does. That's why I think you should vote for McCain. Think about it. What a headline. If you think there's global warming, John McCain, nuclear winter. See? Now you got the global warming issue taken care of because you have nuclear winter. I'm John McCain and I support this message. Anyways, you take out your tough on home security. Barack Obama's not. He wants to negotiate. You can't negotiate with terrorists. Well, that Abu Dhabi Bajad or whatever, technically he's not a terrorist. He's a leader of a country. And since he's leader of a country, you have to rec you have to recognize that. Saddam Hussein was a leader of a country. 
Well, he tried to have my daddy killed, so I had to go find him and shoot him all and gang him. <laughs> okay, anyways. I believe that the Democrats are not ready to lead. This is the year of the Republican Party. Now, I believe also that if Barack Obama was elected president, he would probably make his Secretary of State somebody like Wesley Clark, which would just be an ass night. What does Wesley Clark know about being Secretary of State? He never went to Stanford. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't have a gap in his teeth. Come on, what could this guy possibly know about that? And now you take his Attorney General. The guy will probably actually take somebody that's read a law book. Oh, God, we can't have that. And then you talk about his uh, Joint Chief of Staff or whatever. Did I ever do that one? Okay. His Joint Chief of Staff will actually probably be somebody in the military. But I know you Republicans, you probably think it'll be Roscoe or Resco, whatever his name is. Or the Reverend John Reiter, or whatever the hell his name is that he's all... That you people are nuts. I just say John McCain will lead you to the promised land because I believe if he is elected president, his Secretary of State will be Henry Kissinger. I believe he will bring back that old uh, to Iran. Because who can deal with Iran better than Henry Kissinger? You tell me. I don't know. Now, far as uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff, I think John McCain will do it himself. He'll say, hey, I was in the military. I'm the commander-in-chief. I'll just do both. I know what's going on. Now, as far as an attorney general, I think John McCain will pick himself because he saw a law book in a library once. And obviously, with the Republicans, in order to be attorney general, you just have to know what that is. Anyways, enough of bullshit. This is Brian's Mind until Friday.